Hello, I'm Kerry O'Brien and welcome to a very special edition of Lateline. With the warring parties in Bosnia ignoring the ceasefire and endangering the lives of thousands of civilians, we assembled a high-powered discussion panel for tonight's program, including Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadzic, American Vice President Al Gore and UN leader Boutros Boutros Ghali. Unfortunately, none could make it, so instead our panel comprises from Channel 7's Footy Unlimited, Pilko Prentice. G'day, Kerry. How are you, mate? From Nine's Let's Talk Footy, Wacker McStanger. Thanks, Kerry. Good to be here, mate. And from Ten's Footy, 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 one of the great colourful characters of the game. You just never know what he's going to say next. Smack a spargo. G'day, Kerry. How you going? <laughs> yeah. And also with us on the panel for no real reason, Max Sharam. I've been to Europe and Japan. Mm. Well, let's get the discussion underway. Smacker, what do you make of Karadic's refusal to accept the terms of the ceasefire? Mate, Redovan Karadic is about as useful as a one legged man in an ass kicking competition. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Oh, dear. Pilko, any comments? Oh, oh, mate, I'm not touching that one. Wacker? Oh, mate, I'm letting that one go through to the keeper. Mate, if Radovan Karadic had one strictly enforced demilitarised zone, it'd be lonely. <laughs> oh, oh, mate, you are a shocker. <laughs> oh, mate, I'm not touching that. Oh, dear, where does he get them from? Max, uh, what are your views on Bosnia? Chocolate, bananas, teapots, elephants. Yes, quite, Mate, if she spoke a word of sense, it'd be lonely. <laughs> oh, mate, give him a <laughs> wide berth. I wouldn't go near that one with a 50-foot pole. And here's what happened when Smacker went out onto the street to canvas your views on the Bosnian situation. Hello, madam. Can I ask your views on Bosnia? Well, I personally feel that... Hang on a second. You'd be a bit of a stupid old foreign bag, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, he's a shocker. <laughs> well, I think that's all that needs to be said. Max Sharam, any final comments? <laughs> Hmm. Well, until next week, we'll leave you with this reminder about our new video, The Best of Late Line. Out now on video, The Best of Late Line, featuring in-depth discussions on the war in Chechnya. Mate, if Yeltsin had a day off the piss, it'd be lonely. <laughs> the Middle East. Arafat. He's some kind of wog, isn't he? Oh, mate, I'm not touching that one. And the International Conference of Women in Beijing. Mate, I reckon some of those delegates have been sworn in with the ugly stick. <laughs> oh, mate, you are a shocker.